Bouta, first of all, welcome to Stoke City. How does it feel to be here? Yeah, I'm super happy and uh, I was waiting for a long time before the deal was done and uh, I'm super happy that uh, I'm finally here. I'm happy, uh, happy to sign and happy to begin a new journey. He's got vast experience for such a young age. Um, he's got real quality. He's a leader. I think it's one that we've, um, we've been on going with for, for a while. Um, it was one of our key targets that we highlighted in the summer. He's six foot three, he's got a great left foot, he can score, he can create. Um, I think he was a sort of vice captain, I believe, at, at uh, Basel as well. So the fact that he's a leader on and off the pitch, uh, he's one player you'll always see, not just due to his, his height, but because you see him pointing and shouting and dragging people around, almost like an extension of the coaching team on the pitch. Um, he was a player who you know, we saw playing for Basel wearing the armband as a 21-year-old. So a 20-year-old Dutchman playing in Switzerland wearing the armband says a lot about his character, not just his quality. I would say that I read the game quite well, that I uh, can slow the, the game down but also make the game faster. I would say that I'm a good passer. But this way, we're not the only horse in that race for a player like that. You know, a Dutch under-21 international, who, like I said, has worn the armband at every club he's been at. You know, been fantastic, uh, starting at under-17 level with the Netherlands, uh, being in a team at tournaments all the way till now. Um, we've seen a lot in terms of his development physically from that time, but um, there's always been a persistent interest in this player, and not just from Stoke City or myself, from, from other clubs around Europe, no doubt about it. And then eight, are you equally good in both positions, or do you prefer one or the other? I think that I prefer always to be like for example double eight or double six. Uh, I would not consider myself as like a, really a number ten or really a number six. But of course both positions are also not yeah not bad to play. I, I like also to play it but in the end I think my best positions are double six or double eight. He's flexible. He can play he can play arguably he can play all three really. Do you know what I mean? So he's got he's got the capability of playing in any of the positions. Um, and what he will do, like I say, he's going to add real good competition to a, a really strong area of the pitch for us already. Um, but I think that should take Lads' game onto a different level and that's what we're hoping for. His main quality, so he's a player that we would typically describe as a proper midfield player. And I know that's not designed there in terms of he's an eight, he's a six, he can play in two sixes, double pivot, or play as a, as a right-sided eight off his left foot. He's a proper midfield player, and by that we mean he can play all the jobs. So do you want him to sit on his own as a lone six? He can do that. Do you want him to sit in a two alongside a, a Ben Pearson or a Josh Laurent or whoever's in the team? He can do that, and he can play higher up the pitch as one of two high eights uh, because he has the ability to take the ball in, in tight spaces and obviously you know, score goals, which you've seen in kind of the welcome video for him. Um, and obviously he's been off to a good start since joining Stoke City as well uh, with that half volley cracker from the edge of the box. Yeah, I think they pushed from the, from the first moment that we came in contact that they were really clear that I was for them priority for this window. That they put a lot of effort in me to, to get me here. They, uh, they went really deep and uh, yeah, they gave me a really good feeling and that of course uh, put me over the line to come in. Yeah.